Why memorize scripture when you can just read it out of the Bible? This week on the team. Everybody, it's Father Christian here at the Tees, the place where we tease out the scripture before we jump headfirst into it on the weekend. And as you know, we have been gifted 1 Corinthians 13 by our wonderful rector, Father Todd, who is asking us to memorize this translation of 1 Corinthians 13. He has uh, done a little bit of his own translation at places, so you want to get the one that the ushers hand out to you. But you might be asking, why? Why do it? Why don't I just open up 1 Corinthians 13 and I can read that and that's going to be really powerful for me and move me? But yes. No, it is a powerful thing to read scripture. Listen, Dallas Willard, you might know him, great author, great theologian, professor at USC. I like his take on it. He says, Bible memorization is absolutely fundamental to spiritual formation. If I had to choose between all the disciplines of spiritual life, all the disciplines, I would choose Bible memorization because it is a fundamental way of filling our minds with what it needs. This book of law shall not depart out of your mouth. That's where you need it, in your mouth. How does it get in your mouth? Memorization. So that's one take on it. And I really respect Dallas Willard. But I also want to talk about, you know, John Piper's a guy I like to read a lot. He does um, desiringgod.org. Uh, but he talks about some reasons. And one of them is reasons of, of why Bible memorization is so important is conformity to Christ, right? The more that you take in the scripture and you have to memorize it, you have to walk around, you have to kind of get in your heart, you have to do your memorization techniques. You are just repeating God's word. And that is going to start to change and form your soul, your heart, your mind, just by just going over it. And the meaning starts to really come alive with you. And maybe you have to ask more questions, right? So he talks about that conformity to Christ. But also it's important when on our daily walk, our daily walk in our own temptation. So when we're having a bad day and having a rough day for you're losing your patience and you can just say, no, you know, love. Love, what is true love? The love of Christ will love is patient. Love is kind. It does not boast. It does not envy. For, for you to have that, to reaffirm to yourself God's word in your heart will help you get through challenges during the day and throughout your life, right? To have a scripture memorized, it really means a lot to you. Uh, number three, how do you comfort others in your life? That to have Psalm 23 or the first Corinthians 13, I'm at your beck and call. So you can just say that to someone who's in a tough spot, uh, whether it's a stranger, a friend or a family. So you don't have to pick up your Bible and say, well, excuse me, I, I know I got a good piece of scripture for you. Um, it's in, let me see here. It's a Zephaniah. No, no, no. It's on John three. Now there was a Pharisee named, Nicod no, no. You just want to be able to say love never ends, right? Well, that, that's one of the lines you'll be memorizing from first Corinthians 13. And finally, from any evangelical standpoint, yes, I said the E word, as we evangelize, that it really makes a difference that when you're talking to someone who's curious about God, who maybe is a seeker, who wants to know more, that you can just sit there and you can quote scripture and you can quote to them um, something that means that's powerful to you. And as, as you express your meaning, it's sort of like a waiter that really knows the specials Think about it, about the waiter who has to take the card when they come to your table and say, uh, today's um, uh, specials are, um, we have a sea bass that comes with a nice uh, uh, grilled string beans and it looks like uh, some potatoes. And you're like, this person just show up for work and just like not even care. But the waiter that comes, who has it memorized, who can sit there and tell you gracefully, the, the the entrees for that evening and so you can just, just you can almost taste the food the way that they're saying it to you you're like wow and you're drawn in and you're like i believe this person and i trust this person because they care so much about their job right that's how you want someone who's curious about god or curious about jesus to look at you and be like man they really walk the walk and talk the talk and one way to do that is our memorization of scripture. That's to be able to get the word out and have it right there, your beckoning call. Of course, walking the walk is the best way to evangelize. So um, those are some, some big reasons or some reasons to give to you about to maybe help you during this time of, um, of memorizing the scripture. Get two lines down a day. It's going to be wonderful. And we'll do a presentation on Good Friday night as well. Um, and you'll have some people doing a dramatic presentation. And you, if you know it in your heart and your mind, can say it along with them. So God bless you. And we'll see you this weekend uh, where Dr. Chris Hall will be joining us at worship. Bye-bye.